Hello everyone, this is Amanda Suri. I am an X driving instructor and today I'm going to show you the Toronto Downsview G-Test route. This video was requested by Timothy who has a road test coming up very soon. So Timothy, all the very best. I'm sure you're going to pass with flying colors. Hey, if you have any requests for a special video, make sure you leave that request in the comment section below and I'll make sure I make a video on that topic so without wasting any time let's go dive into this video and let me show you the route hey i'm going to give you some tips throughout this video so make sure you watch this video all the way through the end okay so let me start with the first tip the thing is right so you want to park here now there are numbered spots here where you want to park don't park in the spots that are not numbered the spots around here are not numbered at the back they are not numbered only these two rows uh, are are numbered so you want to find that spot and park there now make sure you park facing um, facing outward you know um, so that when you when you come out it's easier for you hey you see how many pedestrians there are for here here and then the, here people waiting so if you're parked like this guy here and you have to reverse um, in the beginning of the test, then that's not a good situation, you know. Hey, no matter how good of a driver you are, that nervousness can make you make mistakes. So do not take any chance and park the car like these guys, you know. There's a, always a strategy to pass the test, right? So skills and strategy both come hand in hand. And hey, listen to me, there's a ice cream ice cream truck here right don't go eat ice cream there while the examiner is waiting for you you don't want to get busy eating ice cream hey uh, wait in the car put your put on your seat belt and be ready and then after you pass the test go treat yourself by the way banana split is my favorite which one's your favorite mention in the comment box below let me know okay so um okay so when you come out of the parking lot right so you go this way you see where the van is going hey, make sure you stay on the right hand side right so there are arrows clearly marked here saying which way one should go right so make sure you stay on the right hand side so here you're gonna make a left you know and when you make a left stay in the left lane so that you can make a left at the stop sign here now you're this this road here is called call hall road that's what the address of the drive test location is 37 call hall road so you make a left here and you keep driving straight now you're going to come across a lot of stop signs here make sure you make a full stop at every stop sign now just follow Carl Hall Road until you hit the next lights. Uh, the road winds and you will hit the lights. And hey, now there's no speed sign posted here. So you assume a speed of 50 kilometers per hour. Now, these are the lights you're going to hit. And uh, this is shepherd and uh john drury drive right so the the road call hall uh, road it turns into john drury drive so you make a right turn here on shepherd so let's let's go this way now as soon as you turn right you're gonna see a speed sign here you see speed limit is 60 kilometers per hour so shepherd avenue west is 60 kilometers per hour so every time you make a right turn or a left turn, you first want to check what the speed limit of the road is. If you don't see any speed sign, then drive at 50 kilometers per hour. Now, you're going to keep driving straight for, for a while before you hit Allen. So, you know, the, it's a long distance between Allen and uh, this right turn that you, that you make. So be prepared to make switches you know the examiner is going to ask you to make left or right switches change 
lanes to the left or right. So be prepared for it and know that Shepherd Avenue West is, is a busy street. So, you know, it's, it's good and bad, you know, good in the sense, you know, when it's a busy road, you don't have to worry about the speed limit. The car, the cars will be going slower than the speed limit and bad because, you know, on a busy street, if you have to switch lanes, you have to be mindful of a lot of things. So if you haven't watched my lane change video, then make sure you watch that to get some tips about how to change lanes. So we're going to keep going straight on Shepherd until we hit Allen, Allen Road. Now, one thing I want to tell you is that before you hit Allen, you know, you're going to come across a lot of intersections. You know, throughout the test, you're going to come across a lot of intersections. So make sure you look left and right when you go through an intersection. So when you're here, you want to move your head left and right. The examiner wants to see that, you know, because they want to see that you're paying attention to the cars on the left and right. You know, there could be cars trying to make a right turn or, you know, some cars don't even stop for a red light. They run a red light. So you want to pay attention and examiners like that more than them liking it. You know, uh, it's it's one of the parameters on the score sheet um, that they they will take points off if you don't do the left and right scan. So make sure you look left and right when you go through any intersection. So here's Allen Road. So we're going going to go on Allen Road South. So we're going to make a right turn at the lights coming up here. Again, it's a very busy intersection. So make sure you look properly when you make the right turn. There could be pedestrians crossing the road. I see the speed sign coming up here, so let's go closer. Oh, okay, so that's also 60. So Allen Road is also 60 kilometers per hour. And again, you have to keep going straight for a while before you hit the highway. So Allen Road is where, um, yeah, yeah, you know, you merge onto the highway from. Okay, I want to show you this sign here at a point it changes to 70 kilometers per hour. So make sure you're paying attention to speed signs. No, that's, that's tricky about Allen Road. Now, if you see a construction sign like this, it says construction up ahead. So know that, you know, you may have to reduce your speed when you are in the construction zone and one thing you want to know about construction zone is that, you know, the lines turned from white to orange with construction going on and so many cars. I think it'll be, it might be hard for you to go at 70, but don't worry about it. If you're not able to go up to 70, drive at the speed of the traffic. So you see these orange lines? So orange lines means construction. So you want to be careful of the speed limit there. Now, if there's a special sign saying, you know, this is what the speed limit is for the construction zone, then you want to follow that speed limit or go. If, if you don't see the sign, go by the speed of the traffic. Now here you see the highway. So you want to stay on the right hand side because you're going to be taking 401 right so it's 401 west so you will see soon see another sign saying 401 west and there's like one more saying 401 east so let's go to that sign so here's another sign 401 once again and here you see two signs so you want to stay on the right hand side because right hand side is 401 west let me show it to you so this is what it says so you want to st you want to take 401 west and here the speed limit is 70 but i doubt if the cars are going at 70 kilometers per hour because there's construction everywhere now when you take the test there may not be construction so just go by the speed sign so it'll be a while before you actually hit the highway. So the good part about this is that, you know, 
you're already driving at 70 and it won't be much of an effort for you to get up to 100. Unlike other ro other highways where, you know, the the speed on the ramp is 30 or 40 kilometers per hour and you, you, there's a difference of 60 kilometers per hour. Uh, and, uh, you know, that's where a lot of people fail. But uh, here, if you're able to drive at 70, then you just have a gap of 30 kilometers per hour, which is very easy to bridge. Now, Google Maps is showing a lot of construction, so I, I don't think cars are driving at 70 kilometers per hour. Again, when you hit the highway, they may ask you to switch lanes. Uh, not may, but they will ask you to switch lanes. So be prepared for that. But they're going to keep you on, on mostly on the right-hand side because you want to take the next exit. So the next exit that you take is, uh, is Keel Street. So this exit here is Keel Street. So we're going to take Keel Street now. So you want to stay on the right-hand side again on Keel Street. So on the ramp, stay on the right-hand side so that you can take, you, you can make a right on Keel Street. Now you could stay in any of these lanes, right? So both the lanes turn right, but I would prefer to stay on the right-hand side, you know, so that, uh, you know, it's, it's easier. Again, look for a speed sign after you make the right turn. And if you don't see a speed sign, then drive at 50 kilometers per hour. Now from Keel, you'll be asked to make a left turn on Calvington Street. So, which is coming up here. And you want to get into the left turn lane from here. You know, there's a left turn lane here. You want to get into the left turn lane here. There's a Pioneer gas station here. You know, so you want to make a left here on Calvington, Calvington Road, I believe. So you make a left on Calvington Drive, Drive it is. So you make a left here. So you keep going straight on Calvington until you hit a stop sign. And at the stop sign, you have to make a right on Kenshaw Street. Actually, it's Renshaw, Renshaw Street. So you keep going straight on Renshaw Street. So there's cars parked on the right hand side. So make sure you keep a safe distance from the cars. So from Renshaw Street, you make a right here at this stop sign, which is which is Langham Drive. So you make a right on Langham Drive and you go straight. And then again, at this stop sign, you make a right again. Now the name of the street is Bladen Avenue. Now on Bladen Avenue, right? So they'll make you go straight here and anywhere here, they could ask you to do a three-point turn so you do a three-point turn to so basically make a u-turn and go back now here here's something i want to show you there's a sign here which means there's a school around here so you want to keep your speed at 40 kilometers per hour even though there's no speed sign so you want to drive cautiously you see this is the school I was talking about, and there was a sign saying 40 kilometers per hour. Let me go back and show it to you one more time. So here, here, it says 40 kilometers per hour, and there's a school here, this one. So you go straight here. And then you make a right here on Whitburn, Whitburn Street. So here, make a right. It's Whitburn Crescent, actually. 
The speed time is 40 kilometers per, kilometers per hour. And at these lights coming up, you'll make a left. And the street is Keel Street. So you're going to make a left here. Again, after you make the left turn, you look for a speed sign, look for a speed sign, look for a speed sign, and here it is. It has 60 kilometers per hour. So Keel Street does 60 kilometers per hour. Again, they could ask you to switch lanes here. So be prepared for that and make sure you keep your head moving. Look left and right occasionally, not all the time like a squirrel. Now from Keel, you're going to make a right on Shepherd, Shepherd Avenue West, right? So this is the sign, Park, Downsview Park. So that's an indication that Shepherd is approaching. Well, the sign was also an indication. Okay, and again, you're approaching a busy street, so be careful so you make a right here and you're almost there almost back at the drive test center so what you're going to do is at the first lights after you turn right on shepherd you're going to make a right turn on john drury drive which is going to turn into call hall road again if you see a pedestrian make sure you stop for them there's a sign here so pay attention to the signs now since you're going to be making a left turn so you want to stay on the left hand side because this thing this side goes straight see so you're going to be making a left here So you're on Call Hall Road now. Again, a stop sign here. And next one is the drive test center. So here you are. So here you make a white here. And make sure you stop for the stop sign. Do not miss it. So here, they could ask you to turn right here or they'll, they'll take you back here and ask you to do uh, uh, reverse parking if you haven't done parallel parking. I forgot to tell you that, you know, and on one of those streets, on one of those side streets, they could ask you to do uh, parallel parking um, behind, a, behind a car if there are cars there. And if they don't find a car there, then they will ask you to do a reverse parking here, which is very rare. Now, those streets are busy streets. Um, and, you, you know, you, 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 95% chances that you, they will be able to find a car behind which they could ask you to do pedal parking. So, so when you go for the test here, make sure you ace pedal parking uh, because that's what uh, you could be asked to do. And if you don't, if you do parallel parking, then you're doing forward parking. If you don't do that, then you're doing reverse parking here. And that's that. Uh, after you come back here, um, you know, just take a photo like this guy is taking, right? I think he passed the test. So take the photo with your driving instructor and uh, send it to all your friends, you know? And, and I, I, I'm sure, I'm sure. You know, if, if you practice well, you will pass the test. Um, Downs view, keep in mind it, uh, not trying to discourage you, but you've already seen the amount of traffic around um, the, the area. So make sure you go well prepared, right? Drive in that area for a, a couple of days before you go for the actual test and even better, practice on the route uh, like two or three times if you, if you uh, if you get a chance and uh, you know 
and, um, and and I'm sure you will pass the test. So I hope you liked this video, and if you did, then do not forget to crush the like button. Hey, don't hit the like button, crush it, man, crush it. Thank you very much, and I'll see you again with another video.